welcome back to Tokaria. My name is Chrissy and we are so excited for today because it's time for another Toko topic. Zebo, can you tell us what topic we're going to learn about today? Coral reefs! This will be a captivating underwater adventure. Today, we're diving into the mesmerizing world of coral reefs. Get your scuba gear ready because we're about to embark on a journey beneath the waves. We'll discover the vibrant colors, hidden treasures, and incredible biodiversity that makes coral reefs one of the most magnificent ecosystems on Earth. Let's dive in. Imagine a vibrant underwater city full of life and colors. That's a coral reef. Coral reefs are like underwater treasure troves. Coral reefs are incredible ecosystems found in the ocean. They are made up of tiny animals called coral polyps, which build structures that look like rocks or plants. Coral reefs are like underwater rainforests because they are bursting with life. They come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors. They can be like big mounds, flat platforms, or even branching structures. Some corals are bright blue while others are pink, yellow, or green. They create a beautiful underwater world. Coral reefs are homes to countless marine creatures. Imagine swimming alongside colorful fish like clownfish, angelfish, and butterflyfish. You might spot a sea turtle gracefully gliding through the water, or a friendly stingray gently swimming by. Sharks and eels might be hiding in the reef's nooks and crannies. There's always something new and exciting to see. Today, we're going to learn about five animals that you might find in a coral reef. Number one, clownfish. A clownfish is a small fish that lives in the ocean. It has a round body with bright orange, white, and black stripes. It looks like it's wearing a fancy costume. Some clownfish even have different shades of yellow or pink. Clownfish live in a special home called a sea anemone. A sea anemone is like a pretty underwater plant with long tentacles that look like flower petals. The tentacles have stinging cells that protect the clownfish from other animals that might want to eat them. It's like living in a cozy and safe house. The clownfish and the sea anemone have a special friendship. The clownfish gently touch the anemone's tentacles to become immune to its sting. This way, they can swim among the tentacles and stay safe from other predators. It's like having a superpower against something that might hurt others. Clownfish are very playful and active. They love to swim around their home, explore nearby coral reefs, and play hide-and-seek among the rocks and plants. Number two, sea turtles. Sea turtles are special turtles that spend most of their lives in the water. They have flat, streamlined bodies that help them swim easily through the ocean. They are quite big, with some sea turtles growing as long as a grown-up person. Coral reefs offer a variety of food sources for sea turtles. Some species of sea turtles, like the green sea turtle, have a diet that includes seagrasses, algae, and jellyfish, which can be found in or around coral reefs. Coral reefs also provide important nesting grounds for some species of sea turtles. Female sea turtles return to specific beaches, including those near coral reefs, to lay their eggs in the sandy shores. These beaches often have coral reef systems nearby, which can serve as a valuable food source for the nesting turtles. Coral reefs offer protection and shelter for sea turtles. The complex structures of coral reefs provide hiding places and refuge from predators. The reef formations can also act as barriers, protecting the turtles from strong ocean currents. Number three, parrotfish. Parrotfish are named after parrots because they have vibrant colors and beak-like mouths. They come in a variety of bright colors like blue, green, red, and yellow. Some parrotfish even have a mix of different colors, making them look like living rainbows. 
One of the most interesting things about parrotfish is their beak-like mouth. It is shaped like a parrot's beak and is strong enough to crush and eat hard things like coral. But don't worry, they are not being mean. They actually scrape off and eat tiny plants and algae that grow on the coral, helping to keep the coral healthy. When you watch parrotfish swim, you might notice that they have a unique way of moving. They use their large pectoral fins, the ones that look like wings, to propel themselves through the water. They're like underwater acrobats, gracefully gliding from one place to another. Did you know that parrotfish have an important job in the coral reef ecosystem? After they eat the algae from the coral, they digest it and excrete the digested material as sand. Yes, you heard it right. They help make the beautiful sandy beaches by pooping out sand. They're like little sand factories. Parrotfish can change their colors as they grow older. The young ones usually have more pale colors, but as they mature, their colors become brighter and more vibrant. It's like they're putting on fancy outfits as they become adults. Number four, rays. Coral reef rays, also known as stingrays, are flat, diamond-shaped fish with long, whip-like tails. They have smooth skin that feels like velvet when you touch it. Rays come in different sizes, from small ones that can fit in your hand to larger ones that can be as big as a grown-up person. One of the most striking features of coral reef rays is their broad, flat body. It helps them to glide gracefully through the water, just like a magic carpet. When they swim, they flap their pectoral fins, the ones that look like wings, in a wave-like motion, propelling them forward. If you look closely at a ray, you'll notice that it has a pair of eyes on the top side of its body. This allows them to see what's happening above them while they're swimming close to the ocean floor. Some coral reef rays have a long, whip-like tail that ends in a stinging barb. This barb contains venom and is used for protection. If a ray feels threatened, it can whip its tail and sting anything that comes too close, so it's important to give them their space and observe them from a safe distance. When you explore a coral reef, you might spot rays gracefully gliding above the sandy patches or hovering near the coral formations. They are peaceful creatures and usually mind their own business. Just remember to admire them from a respectful distance to keep both them and yourself safe. Number five, butterfly fish. Butterfly fish are called that because their bright colors and beautiful patterns on their bodies look like the wings of a butterfly. They have small, thin bodies with a round shape, and their fins are shaped like delicate butterfly wings. Some have vibrant yellow, orange, or white bodies, while others have stripes or spots of black, brown, or blue. They're like little swimming rainbows. One interesting thing about butterfly fish is that they have a long, thin snout or mouth. This helps them reach into small spaces or crevices in the coral reef to find their favorite food. They love to eat things like algae, coral polyps, and tiny invertebrates. You might spot butterfly fish swimming in pairs or small groups. They like to stick together and explore their colorful home, the coral reef. They're like little social butterflies. Did you know that butterfly fish have eyes on the sides of their heads? This gives them a wide field of vision, which helps them watch out for both predators and food. They're always on the lookout. Butterfly fish are also known for their special relationships with coral. Some species of butterfly fish have a special bond with specific types of coral. They protect the coral from being eaten by other creatures, and in return they get shelter and a safe place to live. These are just a few examples of the diverse range of animals that inhabit coral reefs. Exploring a coral reef is like entering a world filled with incredible marine life and stunning biodiversity. But coral reefs need our help. They are sensitive to changes in the environment, like pollution and climate change. It's important for us to keep the ocean clean and protect these special places. We can do things like not littering, using less plastic, and learning more about how to take care of our oceans. So next time you see a picture or watch a video of a coral reef, remember how amazing and important they are.
Maybe one day you can visit a real coral reef and see all the incredible animals and colors for yourself. We hope you've been inspired by the wonders under the sea. Remember, these underwater gardens are not only beautiful, but they're also important to the health of our oceans. Let's all work together to protect and preserve these delicate habitats. Join us next time as we venture into new depths and uncover more of the mysteries of this world. Always keep exploring and learning about the beauty of our magnificent oceans. We'll see you next time. Bye.